everyone. Welcome to The Hills Quilt Along. My name is Jennifer Sampu and I'm so glad you're here. Today is lesson number one and you've probably already watched the welcome video that was joint between Latifa and I and now each of us are diving into our perspective genres or expertise. My focus for the next six weeks is going to be on my version of Latifah's Mole Hills quilt, and I call this The Hills. And many of you may have received the kit. This kit is everything you need. It has 44 pieces included and lots and lots of yardage. It's heavy. So if you've already received this, this is what you get. This is what it looks like. We're gonna open it up a bit later. But I also wanna let you know that if you didn't do my kit, that's fine. You can learn with us about color, value, grouping, and get your own version of the Hills Quilt using ombres, using prints, and it's gonna flow between what I do and then suggestions I make for you at home if you have a different palette. In week one, I've got my little notes here. We're going to do an overview of the quilt today. We're gonna to talk about the color families in the Hills quilt. We're gonna talk about value. And we're also gonna talk about maximizing your color use. We don't dive too deep into the maximizing of color, that comes later, but I want you to know that we will be talking about that. And then of course, we're gonna do the kit breakdown. We're gonna open the kit, see what we've got in there. Just to give you an overview, week two, we'll be doing color work with the gold fans and the pale fans. Week three, we're gonna be doing more color work with the blue and green fans. And among those week two and three, we're gonna be talking about cutting out your fans and then sewing your fans together. I briefly go over these because I know Latifa will be diving into the nitty gritty of all those details to get your fabulous fans. Week four, I'm gonna be talking about adding inserts. And you can add inserts wherever you want them. These little bars, these pops of value, these pops of color. And you're still sewing fans in week four. Week five, we're gonna get into quilt assembly. You may not have all your quilt fans at this point, but you'll definitely want to wash every week because even though you're maybe not at the place to start assembling your fans, you want to keep up with Quilt Along as best you can. Um, because again, these videos are not going to be available forever. This is a free Quilt Along that we're doing. And the more you can get ahead of watching all these wonderful content filled videos, then when you go back to rewatch them, when you get to every point along the way, you'll have the familiarity. Then we also do in week five, the color fan layout. So I have one type of layout, but you don't have to do my layout. You can do your own layout and we'll get more involved with talking about the options. And then the final week, week six, we'll be wrapping it all up, having a Q&A, and Latifa and I come back together in a joint session. So if you ordered my kit, it has the pattern in it. It does not have the template in it, the acrylic template. It has the paper templates in it. If you want the acrylic template, order it from latifasafir.com. What you get in here, is all the fabrics you need to make the Hills Quilt plus you have extra. You get this pattern. And now if you didn't buy my Hills Quilt kit, you can get the individual pattern as a PDF from latifasafir.com. Now Latifa did a special cover for us because it's been hugely popular. And that image on the front is just a cover image about my quilt. She has many versions and she has many downloads. So if you already bought the kit, you go back to, I believe the QR code and you already own the PDF. So you get more downloads where you get four pages from our specific Hills quilt. You get the cover page, 
which shows you all the beautiful color layout, okay? And it gives you the size. Then you get the sequence of blocks and the size. So the size of my quilt is different than the other sizes of Latifah's quilt. And then you get the Hills color map. This is very, very important for you to have a printout of. The color map, as you can see, is all labeled beautifully. So if you want to make this exact quilt, you have three pages of how every fan is laid out and the colors that are used. And then finally, Latifa sells two versions of the acrylic templates. This is for the fat quarters. I don't use this. This is not being used in the Hills quilt. It's a smaller fan. This is the template you're using. One template for all five sizes of fans. This shows that it's half a size. You see that? This is just half. So you're placing your template on the fold, which we will go into detail, especially Latifa will go into detail about that. The good thing is Latifa already has a video on her YouTube, it's posted already, that is all about how to use her template. When I began this quilt, I didn't know where I was going with it. All I knew is that I wanted to use my ombres and that's the initial starting point for me was I started making these big fans in the blues. I was just craving blue. I was craving this big juicy arcs. And then I'm like, oh, I need to add some chalk and charcoal to give a textural change to the quilt. So there's just two of my collections in here, the sky ombres and chalk and charcoal. And I wanted to show you, this was an original inspiration, but this is a very soft, ethereal peach, creams, grays, blues, and then you have these pops of orange, and then you even have a little bit of green. But you can see, I definitely deviated from this a lot, a lot. But I think it's a really nice tool when you're making and you're like, I don't know what colors to pick. You can always go to your favorite photos, your favorite art, your favorite famous artists, or maybe your own work to get color inspiration. Here's a piece of one of my ombres. This is Nightfall. And this is used a lot in this quilt. So with Nightfall, you can see that the very darks I'm accentuating here, but it even goes into the lights. So you get this wonderful glow coming from just one of the ombres. And that's just an example that will teach you how to cut these up to maximize the use of your fabric. And then that's Sky Ombre, for those of you who don't know what Sky Ombre looks like, it's a full range ombre. And then the other collection is chalk and charcoal that's used. And this is a wonderful texture. So the, I think the most interesting thing about using the chalk and charcoal is I use both sides. Look at that. It's like a new print on the other side, okay? And I do that a lot to get the nuance of shading throughout the whole quilt. I often will turn over the color to get a lighter shade. And I do that a lot up here and I'll go through and point out in detail when we start scanning closer, but know that that's always available for you. The way we're gonna approach the quilt along in the next few weeks is by color section. So when you look at this quilt, there's a strong divide line between the warms and the cools. And this divide line is of course part of the block. And it goes all the way over here and back to here, okay? So these are the pales, the atmospherics up top, and then it comes into the rich golds and yellows and even a touch of this red rust um, feeling and, and all the way down into even some earthy browns and grays. So that's how we're gonna break down working with the fans. And up top is especially where I flip colors around. So 
you can't necessarily see this on your pattern, but like I flip that color backwards. I flip this color backwards. I flip this color backwards. And so you're just going to play with what you have in your stash, whether it's my kit or your own stash. And what does it look like if I turn the fabric around? Because sometimes you get right on top of it and you're like, oh, that's the back of the fabric. I can't use that. That looks weird. But trust me, it won't. It doesn't. As soon as you start putting it into your work and stepping back, it gives you that added value option, which is so important for creating this atmospheric lights that's still very colorful. It's not all creams at all. I've got greens and peaches and yellows and beiges. And then this, this I don't even know what I would call this color, maybe a soft pink because it's the back side. I've got ombres here and here, and then I've got my chalk and charcoal. And I'll use the same chalk and charcoals next to each other. There's no rule saying you can't put the same colors next to each other. This is from the same ombre, right? It's just a different part of the ombre and they work very well together. This gets pushed in for a bright pop and then you get the nice glow happening from the yellow all the way to the gold and the deep rich um, rust color, orange. So that's the first thing we're gonna tackle on week two is this color story. Week three, we're gonna go into the blues. And the blues go from very, very pale. And this is five pieces, even though it blends more, for instance, than this fan. This fan is more contrasty because I go dark, medium, dark, medium, dark, and then lighter. And then again, I purposely put this glow in here for interest and drama. And here, you know, these fans will fit together. They fit together like a puzzle, but it's not hard. And then even some places we'll talk in the later date about adding these bars of color. But see how dark and stormy it gets here because of the ombre. That's a really nice contrast from this side over to this side. So we're gonna talk about the blues and then we finally finalize with the greens. And the greens, I do throw blues in with the greens. I throw some beige, and then I pop a little yellow in here. And this little yellow talks to the yellow in the upper left. And this is how I like doing the composition. When you get all of your fans made, you can change the composition. You can do a blue water and green hills. You can make more green fans. You could make more golden fans. You have the option to do that. Um, this is just one way. For those of you who have ordered the hills kit, this is what you've got. This is what it looks like. It's filled with 44 pieces over 16 and a half yards. So let's take a look at what's inside. You've got your pattern and the pattern is the same for everyone. If you bought the particular pattern with the hills, you have this piece which is included with the traditional pattern of the molehills quilt. It also has all the information on Latifah's website for all the downloads. But right now, we're gonna actually pay attention to this because this shows you what's in the kit. On the back side, it has all your fabric requirements and that's everything that's in this kit. So let's take this out. And what we're going to give you as a PDF download is all of these fabrics with their color names, because there's a lot here and to have you try and figure out what the names are will be difficult. And that's how we would like to help you. Organize it based on this fabric requirement. So I'm gonna stop here and go through all of these and you'll see how I organize it for you to follow along 
exactly as it's written on the back. I've organized the fabric based on the requirements of the back of the Hills quilt image. Here's the sky aloe, and I folded it this way just so you know, okay, there is a sky ombre fabric. And I've put two pins in it, a yellow and a white. And I did do a, a guide for my colors. So the white pins mean that it's part of the green fan, which is the bottom part of the quilts. The blue pins mean it's part of the blue fan. And then the yellow pins mean it's part of the atmospheric yellow fans. If they have two pins in them, then that tells you that they're part of both groupings. And so I think that's just a handy thing to have. And this is how you organize your fabric. So back to the aloe. The next one is nightfall, and these are three quarter yards. Then we get into our chartreuse here, our half yard of dove. And then we have petal. And then we have linen and meadow and corn silk this one is cypress it's got a little white pin in it here is glacier and shadow burlap which has three pins in it these browns are in all locations and then we have bison which has three pins in it it's in the all three areas of the quilt then the next are the half yards of your sky okay and we have the honey and again, I fold it so you can see that, oh yeah, that's my sky I'm working with. And we have sunburst. And then we have spa. And we have haze. We have storm. And we have fog. And so my little note here is half yard of six skies. Okay, and this is just important for you to also at this point, write the names on the selvage of all your fabrics you're using. So when you go look at the color guide, you know what you have if you want to follow the color guide as is. Now we're gonna work on the fat quarters. We're gonna start with shell. So there's shell. And then we have dolphin. We have vintage white. And we have vintage. Kiwi. Peapod, zinc, heather, lake, olive, zucchini, straw, marigold, Wheat, Woodrose, Delft, Sprout, <laughs> Jungle, and last but not least, Mushroom. So 
Again, I have pinned each one prior to based on what color family it goes to. That's a guide that's gonna help me and I'll break that down. But again, it's the three different sections of the quilt that you're going to be piecing together. You don't have to pin it right now if you don't want to, but I just wanted to explain to you what was going on with my samples. So that's all your fat quarters. Okay, now let's work down to the quarter yard strips. Now, fat quarters are obviously a half yard that's cut across the um, halfway line. You know what a fat quarter is. But a full quarter yard of evening right here. Can you see that? Let's push this up a little bit. A, a quarter yard of evening is long. this long strip. There's evening and a quarter yard of ember and a quarter yard of cloud and a quarter yard of sky. Okay, and just to show you, to make sure you understand what I'm talking about, it's one long strip and you can work this quite well with your templates, okay? We'll fold this back up and I like folding it so I can see the ombre. And I just put this little pin because I know this goes with the blues. So we're gonna put these to the side. And then the final piece that's in your kit is the linen. And this comes in all the kits and this is the binding. It's three quarter yards, so it's a nice big piece. If you order the expanded kit, you got a big three yard chunk of 108 inch width sky for your backing. And here's what it looks like. We're gonna unfold it, Colette and I, and just pull it all the way. And then open it up. And so this is doubled. You get, that's, this is the middle. That's the center of your, of your 108. So that's like 90 inches across. And then here's your two selvages. So it's a wonderful piece of fabric. We love it as a backing. It's the best. And then we'll fold it back together.